Hello Carpologists, I'm Luke and today we're looking at these new alarms. So these are the latest offering from JRC and they're known as the Radar XTX alarms. Now we're looking at the 3 plus 1 system, you can buy them individually, you can buy the receiver individually, but like I say we're looking at the 3 plus 1 which is 3 alarms and a receiver in a nice little hard case. Now before we get any further, I will say that these are actually up for grabs with a competition, so if you fancy your chance of winning make sure you stick around to the end and I'll tell you exactly how you can enter. But for now, Let's check these out and see what you think. So bringing a set of alarms to market these days has got to be quite a daunting task because there's, there's simply so many different sets of alarms on the market, it's hard to know what to choose from. But obviously with a new set, you've got to do something different to the rest. These JLC ones have got a few nice little features that aren't on other alarms. Obviously, as you'd expect, you've got your sensitivity, your tone and your volume controls. And the nice thing about these is they're a nice little dial, so you, you don't have to worry about clicking through different buttons or anything like that. Simply a case of just twisting the dial and then you can tweak everything to, to what, how you see fit. Like I said, these have got a few extra little features that, that do differentiate them from the rest. Now, as you can see on the top left of these alarms, you've got quite a nice long LED section, which is obviously a little bit different to most. Most alarms just have a single LED, which if you get a bite, it will flash which is great, but you don't really know if it's a screamer or a drop back or quite what it is. So with these JLC ones, they've actually got directional LEDs. So if you do get a bite and it's a standard bite, then basically the alarm or the LED will flash from the bottom to the top. So then that way you know that the line's going out. If you get a drop back, it does the reverse. So it'll go from top to bottom. So even if it's middle of the night and you look out and you're not quite sure whether it's a bite, a drop back, quite what it is, you know what to expect at the second that you get to your rods. Now carrying on with the theme of features that you don't see on most alarms, on the back of these JRC alarms there's actually a little LED, which to most of you it will probably seem completely pointless because why would you want an LED that you can't see? But this is JRC's new lighthouse feature and basically the idea of this is if you're fishing bigger waters where you need to use boats, whether you're going abroad and you want to you take these alarms with you, by having the LED on the back and having that lighthouse function, it means that when you're boating your bait out and you're coming back in the middle of the night, you know exactly where your swim is and where, where your alarms are. Now, again, unless you've been in that situation, you don't know how difficult it is to actually find your swim in the middle of the night. So really handy little feature that not a lot of you will use, but the ones that do want to use it will find it really, really helpful. So as well as the lighthouse feature, JLC have really thought about the design of these alarms. And as you can see, they've got quite high ears to them. So if you don't want to buy separate snag ears, you don't necessarily have to for the majority of your fishing. The other nice thing they've put in between these ears, just where your rod sits, is a really nice bit of rubber. And this basically holds everything in place. So if you do get a scream and take, it's not going to be one of them situations where your rod's kind of bumping along and you've got to make a, a mad dash to try and save your rod from going in. So it's little features like that that really do make these alarms stand out from the rest. There's also a really handy mute feature on these alarms. So as you can see, if you're just playing about with your bobbins and you don't want them to go off, you've got to simply press the on off button and then that makes everything silent. So you can set your bobbins, you can get everything right before then pressing it again and then being back to normal operation. The other thing you notice probably from me doing that is the differentiation in tones. So if you do have a standard bite or a drop back, you can, alongside the directional LEDs, you can tell the difference in tone as well. So as soon as you get to your rod, you're completely switched on with what sort of bite that you've got. The other nice thing with the mute system is you can keep your alarms completely muted, whether it's by the mute system or simply by turning the alarms down and then you can use the receiver in a vibration only mode so if you want to keep really discreet really quiet if you're fishing somewhere maybe you shouldn't be then you can keep everything down to a minimum so no one's going to hear if you get a bite if you want to keep your captures quiet or like i say if you get a bite from somewhere you shouldn't really be on it's nice and handy to keep everything really quiet now on the flip side of that if you're a little bit harder hearing and you need your alarms to be a little bit louder then these XTX alarms do actually have a really high speaker volume. So if I crank this right up, it, you can tell you can have it really loud if needed, but 
obviously it gives you the option to really tone it down a bit as well so it's a lot more subtle now carrying on with the features you've got an output just on one side of the alarm for illuminated hangers as well so if you do already have illuminated hangers then these these JRC alarms will power it and the alarms actually take a standard LR1 battery well two two of them so your standard bite alarm battery and then the receiver takes triple A's so again nice, nice and easy to get hold of it's also worth noting if you do have either illuminated hangers or snag ears or something like that then these alarms actually have an extra long screw thread so you can easily stack up a few things underneath the alarm so like your hangers your snag ears and you've still got enough screw thread to actually get into any bank sticks as well so again it's a nice little thing that's thought out by JRC that you wouldn't normally think about but it does make a big difference to the actual application of using these alarms so moving on from the alarms to the receiver again it's nice and simple to use you've got a couple of buttons on here plus and a minus which is simply your volume and like I mentioned earlier you can have this in a vibrate only mode as well so if you do want to keep things really discreet, chuck this to vibrate only, put the alarm heads right down to the lowest volume so you won't hear anything and then no one's going to know if you do have a bite or not. Now this receiver actually has a range of up to 150 metres so it's got a really strong signal, really strong connection to the alarms as well. Not that I'm recommending that you go 150 metres away from your rods because it's just, it's just not a good idea, nobody wants to see that. But what it does mean if you're in quite dense woodland and you've got loads of trees around you, trees surrounding the bivvy, the swim, everything like that, then you're not going to get any interference and your, your signal's not going to cut out or anything like that because it does have that really strong signal. Now, that is about the alarms and the receiver wrapped up. I will mention as well that it does come supplied in a nice hard case, so it's got loads of padding inside and then a hard outer shell, so you've got loads of protection for these and that actually comes with the, the 3 plus 1 uh, kit as well. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more reviews, then make sure you like and subscribe to Carpology on YouTube and obviously all the various social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, we're on all of them. And I did mention about a competition, didn't I? So if you want to be in with a chance of winning this set of alarms, the 3 plus 1, then all you've got to do is head over to carpology.net, answer one simple question, and then you could be in with a shout. So make sure you do that, get your names in, and you could have this set of alarms coming to you very soon. But for any more information, obviously head over to the JRC website. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.